Let's make this boy big. Big Udia finally gets a W. That was very challenging to find a win with, but we got it. Perhaps this is a fine mole. We'll keep one Omahawk, one Wanderer. Go about somewhat amount. Okay. That's pretty good. Get us into the field immediately. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Beyond. That's a bit of a high roll. This is also a pretty significant high roll too. Getting some Omen Hawk stats on the UDR feels pretty good, man. We can play Wanderer next turn and then kind of curve into UDR. Or we can play both of these cards next turn. Can this Omen Hawk potentially block further damage in the future? I think five is a pretty good number for now. So we'll take that. Unfortunately, Concerted Strike is a bit of a shutdown for us. But let's just pretend it does not exist, okay? We follow the old ways. I'll take this pass. I'm overall pretty happy with that. So Towering Stonehorn does not take damage from enemy spells or skills. That's fine. Extend your senses. I just want to keep my freeze up. New card? Don't think it's that new, but... <laughs> In fact, what sets was from? Empires of the Ascended. This came out alongside the Azir release. Speaking about Galio, I think that's why he's playing here. This would be a Our enemies cannot hide. Ah, an auspicious season. This would be a good winter. Blessed by snow and stars. Prepare yourself. Center your spirit. Prepare yourself. I know Ramen typically plays um typically plays mini morph as well in these kind of lists. I can't really afford to. Can I is there much I could have done instead? I don't know, this felt like so all in. Again, I put myself in spots where I'm losing to similar cards, like Concerted Strike. That's fine. This is a pretty good outcome for me. Yeah, yeah, we take that. Justice will be served. Couldn't care too much about that, to be honest. I do like the idea of killing some of these units off the field. It's a Galio deck, right? Units that we draw are going to be pretty large. In 13 13 Omen Hawk. Whew. Hopefully, we can give this thing overwhelm. Huge bird. 
single combat didn't exist. We got pretty lucky that they didn't have any strike spells. That's a big omen hawk though. Do I even care too much about this Lee Sin? <laughs> Actually. I got an idea. It's a pretty full send, but I'm gonna stand united. <laughs> so I can get um so I can get my stance. <laughs> cool. Now I have a stance. I can either give Omen Hawk overwhelm or freaking Lee Sin. Oh hey, Garen! Prismatic Garen, indeed. Um, I mean, the Omen Hawk does look pretty hot for Overwhelm, right? Oh, look at him. Oh, amazing. Huge. This board state is pretty insane. Five mana, five, five. Ooh, Garen? Yeah, Garen. So what are we thinking? What are we really thinking here? Like, what is the line, hey? Who are we kicking back into the hand? How are we swinging this board? What are we doing? This is probably just going in. Who is Lee Sin grabbing? Maybe just you for now. Yeah, Omen Hawk, beat his ass. Beat his ass. Oh, wait, did I miss? I didn't miss Lethal anyway. No, we got the Radiant Guy in the trade anyway, so that's pretty acceptable. The enemy quivers with fear. Wait, is this a f judgment? I don't really care about judgment too much, hey? It's like not really much of an issue at all. He does preserve his 5-4. Doesn't kill any of these guys. Kills... Oh, sorry, my apologies. He does kill Yudia and Lee Sin. But what's most important is I preserve my Omen Hawk. Garen flips, but Garen's dead, so I'll, I'll take those. I'll take that. Like, we have the one copy of Fill the Rush in hand, so that's a huge high roll for us. And they've got three cards in hand. Biggest threat is like a Jarvan or a Galio. And I've just got some pretty significant refuel. We can actually do the combo where I have Yudio on the field. And I can make my stance swaps cost zero. So we should swap here, I think. I want to give my Omen Hawk regen. By snow and stars. This sounds like a plan to me. I you. We don't get to play Fill the Rush next turn, but that's okay. We preserve the Omen Hawk, and the Omen Hawk has a big cock. That's also a 1311 Tasty Fay Folk. What in the world is this? Yeah? Being chillin'. Let's play Fae Folk. Hello. 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 Oh shit. This could potentially find him some answers. I'm actually petrified now. Imagine if he says me with a ruination. I'd have to play Fill the Rush next time. Imagine if he swindles me. Show me the trash. <laughs> they hesitate like an Elnook in fear. Show me, show me it. What did we find? I am anxiously waiting. Is it a ruination? Is it a board refuel? You know, what do we got? What have we got going on here? Ichiran Ramen? Alright, we got a we got a monk. Are we about to kill me with elusive damage? I really hope not. Out of all the ways to lose, 
That is the lamest. One more card is playable. What is it? One more card is playable. Is this the card? He seems to have a plan here. That's just five damage. That's acceptable. Extralia Sentinel will deal two to my Nexus. Um, they couldn't play the it actually. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're probably not open attacking. I'd hate for them to have another trash, but it's not as bad here. What is my punishment for? Yeah, we're gonna like think about mini morph and stuff like that. We need to be thinking about the ways that I lose, and I think mini morph is one of them. If they have a rally, then I'm pretty sure I just attack anyway. We want to grant this guy overwhelm, I think. We're gonna definitely nope this. Sounds like a very good start. Nopeify is not finding as much value. This is. As good as it gets, he might be trying to find mini morph, so we don't want to allow that. So Ziggs, this is going to be a full send. Okay, so if he wants to get healing, not sure if the ordering matters here. It is going to be a full send. I don't think the ordering matters at all here, right? We just swing at both the overwhelms first, meaning that he's dead. Regardless of many things. His final card, Concerted Strike. Doesn't do what it needs to do. Or does it? Stress Defense would keep him... Not alive, right? No, it is alive. I don't get any healing. I am striking though, so... He does have to make a certain amount of blocks here, otherwise I can kill him with Ram Stance. He has to go with the initial blocks that he had, so he's losing the Mask Mother, which is what's really important here, I think. Okay, not this way. This makes sure that he can preserve his Mask Mother. Dodge Battle Fury? <laughs> Hawk. Thank God for that. So in hindsight, assuming Stress Defense could be a pretty big punishment, there's a line where I, I at least get healing from my Tasty Fae Folk. I'd have to break down this turn more. There is probably an attacking order that helps secure victory. I just did not see it. I'm really scared now. They could find some crazy cards off the top, right? But we'll pass for now. There's nothing to really play. And I don't think there's any point to do any stances. Wow, that is probably just the top deck that we needed now i don't have to be too scared of anything i'm gonna concussive palm here strictly because i'm not entirely sure what is in the deck and i just want to be mindful of like potentially losing to like some combination of pokey stick and pokey stick and then maybe concor just finds some sort of nonsense the Radiance, so yeah, nothing to really be concerned about anymore. Oh, big W with the UDL Sin. Let's go, we got another one. We just had to slow down the gameplay, that's all. Make some better decisions. Not get high rolled on. Because some of these games were definitely winnable. I think I just, um... I may or may not have just really not played to an optimal level. Working on a new screen here too, by the way. Hell yeah, dude. Being chillin'.